السلام عليكم الحمد لله الحمد لله I'm thankful to the Adam Center, to Mecca Centric, and to the people that enabled me to come and speak to you. Insha'Allah, I can say something that can be worthwhile. Insha'Allah. Alhamdulillah, I say, <clears throat> in a short time I have right now, I consider what's going to be the most useful and most valuable in terms of what I know about medicine. Um, you know, I start by saying, Alhamdulillah. And when I say that, I recognize that this, something that what we would call holistic doctors have known from the time before the Prophet, probably as long as mankind has been present. What holistic doctors who are total healers understand is typified by what the Prophet ﷺ said. He said, in the body there is an organ, and when that organ is sound, the body is sound. And that organ is the heart. And what that points to is something that is indicated by people who practice what we could call holistic medicine, people who heal as opposed to people who manage illness, or who get you through the night, or who stop pain alone. People who heal are the people who make whole. Health, the word health comes from the word holf, meaning to be whole. Whole, it's, an it's a reflection of what our basic belief as Muslims is. We are ruthless in our monotheism. Huh? We are ruthless in our monotheism. We believe in Tawheed, and that Tawheed is a belief in the oneness of reality, the oneness of Allah. And that's a reflection of, you know, one sheikh said, if a man makes a model of the universe, he only succeeds in making a model of himself. So our belief in the oneness of Allah is a reflection of our belief in wholeness, unity, wholeness within oneself, wholeness in one's relation to Allah, wholeness in our family, wholeness in our societies, communities, neighborhoods, and wholeness of mankind, Bani Adam. We are brothers and sisters. We believe in wholeness. Wholeness has points to health in our body and in our beings being whole and being one with ourselves, being at ease and in harmony with ourselves is the key to health, to wholeness. So we have an inward. In the old traditions, they say we have many different aspects, many different faculties, many different energies, qualities in ourselves. We have the, the quality of our personality, our thought, our ego, people would say, the nefs, our ability to think and recognize, to speak, to learn information. We have emotions, and we have qualities of emotions. And then we have this system that works automatically by the grace of Allah. An awesome, an awesome creation. And one sheikh said, my teacher said, everything that you find inside this body, you will find outside of that body in some form. Perfect reflection. Not one hair more, one hair less. What happens in here happens out there. My teacher that I found who I consider a real Hakim in Pakistan, he said, my grandfather taught me medicine in the forest. He took him into the forest, and by learning the way the animals, the trees, the plants, the bugs, by learning the way Allah's creation is designed, he achieved hikmah, that is wisdom, knowledge of the pattern that Allah has created. And it's no different out there than it is here. So the hikmah is recognizing, okay, what is it Allah has designed? How do we go with that design? Not how do we control that design, because we'll never do it. How do we recognize the realities that Allah has created? And as Muslims, we accept the realities and learn how to be in submission and acceptance of it 
and not only to go with it, but to appreciate it. And back to what I said in the first place, to me, one of the foundation pieces of good health is hamd. Alhamdulillah, that I can breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Take a full breath in for a moment. Everyone, take a full breath in and breathe out. Now, this breath, notice what it feels like to breathe out. Alhamdulillah, that we can breathe out. Do you know asthmatics sometimes cannot breathe out? This is a gift. Every moment we experience this gift, every moment of our life. But we're forgetful and we're foolish. We're foolish because you don't recognize it. We don't recognize what a gift it is to be able to breathe. There's a story that said in the Musa, alayhi salam, said to Allah, Allah, what is your greatest hidden secret? And Allah said to him, breath. <sighs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah for the color green. Green, green, green. Alhamdulillah for the color brown. How many browns? Huh? Alhamdulillah for light and for shade. It's endless. It's endless. The gifts that Allah has given us that deserved our hamd, our praise, and our thanks. To experience this and to live in this is a key piece of good health. It's called being alive. You can have the best diet, you can have the best regimen of exercise. You can study the books and you can learn all you need to know about chemistry and physiology and neurology. But if you don't have hamd and shukr, you will not be well. You cannot be well in this creation that Allah has put us in. If you cannot recognize that to be able to stand is a miraculous thing. Here's what, 150, 60 pounds of body weight that I can maneuver and control like this. Each one of you. And the voice, the same. Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah. All of its inflections to the sweetest, most tender, to the most fierce and we can modulate our speech. And not only that, we can exchange it with each other with our facial expressions and our hand gestures. And this is not a little thing. Do you get to see what I'm getting at here? It's recognizing the very event of being alive and appreciating it and being present with it will inform our vital, our life force. We all know that if, you, if good things happen and you're happy and, or if you're in love, right, your body feels good, doesn't it? Yes? True? Something beautiful happens, you feel good. So one of the bottom lines and one of the most important things in recognizing good health is appreciation of what Allah has presented to us, what has placed us in. This is an awesome thing. What a beautiful thing it is for those of you who have children, or even if you don't, and to see a young child, mashallah, what a beautiful thing it is. No? Is it not beautiful? To appreciate and be thankful moment to moment, day to day, experientially, is Islam also. It is Islam. And 